the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today we learned about Abraham, whose name was Abram, all high father, because of his faith in the covenant of our Lord and God, he became Abraham, not just a high father or exalted or honored father, but the father of the multitudes, of many, of the many nations. And God chose him and he responded. We learn throughout all great and holy Lent as we study and read scriptures. The assigned scriptures during these pre-sanctified liturgies, which in itself is a very ancient service, was given to us by Pope Gregory the Ologos, who passed away in 604, just to give you an idea of how ancient and venerable this liturgy is. We study the Old Testament, but as the Old Testament readings were being done by the readers outside, inside the holy priest of God is holding the candle over it. And the candle symbolizes the light of Christ to remind him, and through him the faithful, they're always to read everything under the transfiguring prism of Christ. To see the cross across all the pages of the Old Testament. The cross looming as a shadow over all, prefigured in type in the old and fulfilled in Christ in the new. Abraham was one of many great heroes. We learned of Noah, how Noah responded to the call. People called him foolish and mocked him. And imagine the faith he must have had that he would take everything, his family, build an ark, and bring all of creation into that ark and trust in God that he was not a fool and that indeed he would be delivered from the flood for 40 nights and 40 days, representing for us the 40-day Lenten journey. And also consider the suffering. We think that we now are suffering and must have faith. Have you considered my servant Job? Job was a type of Christ. He had everything. God blessed him with so much. Flocks of sheep, property, handsomeness, beauty, family, children, wife, grandchildren, anything a man could want. And yet God took one by one away from him. And yet he did not give up on God. And then after taking everything from him, God made him suffer horribly from the sole of his foot to the top of his head. And yet he did not give up on God because he knew that God was everything. And God did deliver him. And God delivered Noah and his family. And God provided for Abraham. And many generations to come, he was the father of many nations. Abraham was heir to the promise. And through Abraham, by God's grace, so are all of us. We are heirs to that promise. We must have that faith like Abraham, who took everything he had and left his homeland and went to a foreign land, trusting in God that it would be the promised land. And so we likewise have faith like Abraham, and we trust that we are heirs of the promise, and we trust in him to provide for us. God will provide, he told his son. And indeed, God does provide his children. We, his children, not by blood, not by an ethnicity, not by a nation, not by a race, but the human race assumed by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Christian race, the new Israel, the new people of the new covenant. God will provide as he provided for Abraham. God will protect us as he protected Noah and the ark. And God will deliver us from all suffering as he delivered his servant Job. And so in this day and age, we must trust in God because only God will deliver us for eternity and only God will provide for everlasting salvation. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen.